what's in my head is to talk about a discovery I made that on further investigation turned out I wasn't the first one to discover it, which I had I hope somebody else had made an observation. And uh, I found a frequency that is harmonic, is attractive to the spirit, the minerals that make up the spirit body, our physical mineral substance. In physics, it's called condensate, or Bose Einstein condensate. And I found a resonance up at 172 hertz that's attractive, a collecting frequency. <coughs> to the, the frequencies that we normally use in modern culture for power transmission, 50 hertz, 60 hertz, tend to drive off the spirit, like an electric oven, electric stove, will, will deplete the, the, the subs substance, the substantial spiritual energy in that food, it's just cooked away. Uh, Turns out in ancient China and Tibet, the same frequency was was observed and, and used as a, a standard for tuning everything, musical instruments, measurement devices, for, for tuning for a thousand years in China, known as a thousand years of peace. This was actively used to regulate the culture, and we call it the dominant harmonic frequency of nature. So I have dreams of, of exploring that further with, like, if we could set up an electrical system for our lighting or, you know, operating other electrical devices to operate at 172 hertz rather than the, the, the 60 hertz that is used now. I believe from my research that that will have an opposite effect. It will have a, an effect of creating an energetic sanctuary that, that increases our own consciousness, our own spiritual development, our, our health and vitality, rather than having what we now call sick building syndrome, which is the, the chemistry, the electronics, the, all the unconsciousness that has gone into how we produce the environment we live in. If we begin to put the same amount of consciousness into it and select materials and vibrations that are life-supporting, life-affirming, life-promoting,